Our BYU Sports Nation all-access coverage on National Signing Day continues with the BYU football defensive coordinator, Elisa Tuiaki, who is back in Studio B. Uh, this is a lot of BYU Sports Nation for you to handle over the past few weeks. You gonna you doing okay with you this? Kidding me? I enjoy being around you guys. It was good. <laughs> you are a good recruiter, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> we're ready to sign. <laughs> we're, yes, I don't think we're, we have eligibility, but I think we're ready to sign. How are you feeling uh, overall about the signing class now that uh, basically all <laughs> of the dust has settled after just another crazy signing period? Feel great. I, I do. I feel really good about it. Feel like we've. Uh, We've uh, addressed, or not addressed, but uh, um, got some depth into places that we feel like we need to develop. Uh, we've gotten kids that we feel like want to be here, which I, which uh, I think that's that's one of the aspects of recruiting that I think is is undervalued. Um, kids that want to be in your program, kids that are, you know, obviously LDS or in state, or kids that uh, typically um, run through a wall for you. And those kids are the ones that that were that were getting. There's a lot of families that uh, were excited about their kids getting here, and uh, the ones that are not from the state of Utah. And so, really, really excited about this class. What type of reputation does the BYU defense have when you go out and talk to these recruits? Uh, you know, I think. Everybody, everybody knows that uh, that uh, we've been uh, competitive as a defense for the last few years. Um, I think more for them, that, that that's kind of something that's just on the back burner for them. It's like, okay, so I'll check that box. I know that I'm going to come and be competitive and play some good defense. Really, what else? What else is there that that'll uh, you know draw me in as far as feeling good in the locker room, feeling good around the coaches, feeling good about the decision I'm making to live that lifestyle and get that education that I know I'm going to get there and set myself up for for the future. I mean, a lot of the other things that we talk about in recruiting are the reasons why kids are coming and um, football, even though it is the reason why they're coming, ends up really kind of being uh, one of the things that's just at the back of uh, their decisions. It's uh, more of just lifestyle and and uh, you know fit in the program. All right, we're going to break down uh, not only who you bring in today, but the return missionaries specifically to your defensive line. We haven't uh, heard a ton about uh, Tyler Batty, Saleti Favaliaki, and Freddie Levi. So let's start with those three, the return missionaries coming back to help bolster your defensive line, uh, with, starting with Tyler Batty. That was impressive that you said the uh, Sereti Fevaliaki. That's I've been working on this for a while. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that, that was good. So Thank Fre you. <laughs> Freddie Levi is currently with us. He joined us in January. Uh, he's working out with the team, and um, you know, just he's he, he's starting to look better. Starting to look better as far as just kind of getting his body back and and hitting stride, and and uh, we'll see what he brings to the table this spring ball. But he'll he'll participate with us. Um, both uh, Seleti and Tyler are still on missions. They get back, and we'll plan on them joining us in the fall. Seleti is a defensive tackle. Um, shoot, he's 6'3", 6'4", someone there. I guess they listed on here, but I just kind of remember it off of meeting him and, and talking to him. But Seleti is a big kid, and he's a really big athletic body, uh, the kind that, you know, when you project Polynesians, um, and you kind of see him, see him through the years, and you know Seleti's going to be a big kid, a big athletic kid, and so we're excited about him. And Tyler Batty is, is uh, I mean, I've, we've, we've talked about him, at least as a staff, uh, and uh, I mean, we'll see how he comes and develops, but I'm really, really, really excited about Tyler Batty as a, as a pass rusher. Um, you know, he was very under-recruited, I think. 6'5 um, defensive end from Payson. You know, just there, there aren't too many kids signing out of pace in high school, and and uh, he brings a lot to the table. I think he's going to be a good player for us, but super, super explosive kid. There are two defensive players that signed today, Dimitri Gallo, the defensive back out of San Jacinto, and then Kate Albright, the defensive lineman, also out of California. What can you tell us about both those guys? Yeah, you know, they'll uh, – <clears throat> Um, so which one were you talking about? Gallows. Gallows will come in and, and uh, you know, he'll, he'll uh, contribute. I mean, we need I – mean, we're always looking to sign uh, three or four corners every year. Uh, we only – we signed probably maybe two or three. But uh, he's one of the kids that we expect to come in and contribute right away. Um, really good football player and just a good player. But, um, you know, Kate Albright's going to end up going on mission first. But he is another uh, pass rush specialist that comes in, 6'5", uh, 215-pound kid that is uh, – um, BYU through and through. His, his his mom played volleyball here, and uh, dad, mom and dad met here, and so he was, you know, kind of um, being recruited by different schools. Ended up, you know, with uh, with a bunch of different schools that were good. And at the end of it, it was kind of like, okay, 
this is this is home for me. And you know, the back of his head is like, I knew I was going to come here, but I'm I'm ready to, ready to commit and come, and we're excited about him. Elisa Tuiaki, BYU defensive coordinator with the Sun, BYU Sports Nation, part of our All Access Signing Day coverage. Let's go now to December's class and uh, another defensive back, Caleb Christensen. He's a 10 8, 100 meter guy, uh, another local product. We believe his mission probable first. So, um, Caleb, wh- what, what are you looking for in a defensive back? Because it seemed like you went for length. And now it's become speed, and now it's just kind of both. So where are you with that process? It's it's always been both um, for us, but you know, obviously sometimes um, a kid that's not as tall um, ne- needs to be fast. And so for us, you know, so um, w- one of the things that we talk to to high school coaches about, you know, it's it's hard sometimes to watch film and competition that you're playing against and try to really get a gauge on how fast a kid is. And so we encourage all the kids that we're recruiting as DBs to be to be track kids. Um, or we've got to see him with our own eyes, you know, running. And, and uh, you know, he's obviously a track kid, in-state kid, LDS mission. I mean, he's, he fits everything that we are. And uh, you we're know, really excited about getting him on board. Um, and uh, he's going to be a good player for us after his mission. What about Eric Ellison and George Udo? So Eric Ellison also, you know, uh, he and uh, and uh, Demetrius Gals are were, were teammates. And so those guys are both good players, both going to come in and contribute. Um George Udo is a little bit of a, I mean, we're, we put him under the athlete category. Uh, his build and what he looks like right now is we're probably going to end up starting him at corner. Um, wouldn't be surprised if he moves to safety in two days and wouldn't be surprised if he ends up moving to backer and probably wouldn't be surprised if we used him as a rush end at times. I mean, he is just, he's just a freak athlete. He's super, super explosive. When you watch him on film, um, there's a suddenness to the way that he plays. Going from zero to 60 in in two steps. I mean, there's there's not too many kids that can do that. And you can see that he's he's really really explosive. So he's not a kid that's played really played DB. I mean, more more of a linebacker, D end at uh, the high school that he's at. It's a smaller high school, but uh, we project him to be a kid that can that can do a bunch of different things for us. And we'll obviously start him at corner. Well, the three of us can relate to that. I mean, if, if you were to categorize us, athlete is what you would think. You don't want to pigeonhole us with one position. The only thing that we fit under is probably zero to 60 in age, <laughs> and it happened like that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Eli, so great to catch up with you. Um, I, I know that you've, you've put in a ton of work, and you're really excited about, uh, most importantly, having guys that want to be at BYU now playing at BYU, and you're, you're getting guys that know the story, they know the backdrop, and uh, they're ready to run through walls for you. So we're excited, man. Yeah, we're excited as well. All right. We wish you the best of luck moving forward. Thank you. Take some days off. Do something. Watch Netflix. I don't know. Sleep. (laughs) (laughs) It's going to catch up on some shows. We'll do that, too.